yes, we might be a very small state, but we are still agrarian. What is um, a value chain of comparative advantage to us is fisheries. It means that I can begin to harness potentials around the fisheries sector. For instance, we demand over 400,000 metric tons of fish on an annual basis, but our fishermen and our aquaculture farmers, they're able to produce just about 174,000 metric tons. It means I have a deficit of over 200,000 tons. I need to bring in investors into the space. We need to go big in fish trawling. We need to start capturing fish. I mean, you have even Japanese coming into our coastal waters to do shrimp and what have you around fisheries, they take these things back to their country and export it back to us. It's ridiculous. We have this abundant water bodies around us. What are we doing with it? So these are areas where Lagos would like to concentrate, areas where we have the competitive and comparative advantage, like I said, in fisheries. Red meat, yes, we do not produce, but we would like to expand on what we can do within the red meat sector. Lagos consumes well over 1.8 million heads of cattle on an annual basis. We consume over 6,000 heads of cattle on a daily basis. When you consider the transactional value for cattle alone for Lagos is over 328 billion naira. But we are producing nothing. But what stops us from setting up ranches in the state? We are the largest market. It also makes sense that we set up ranches such that we are closer to market. We remove the logistics cost that, you know, probably increase. Yes, we are actually working on that and we'll be okay. rolling out an expression of interest next week. Nice. Towards that, calling on investors.